Hey Tinkers, welcome back to the Beardy Tinker channel. Today we are checking out the HA Simple Timer, a super handy assist integration. And before we dive in, if you want to check it out yourself, the link to GitHub repository will be down in a video section below. Big thanks to Arik for creating this awesome integration and card. It's simple, flexible and works beautifully. And don't forget, if you end up using it, give a star on the GitHub repository to say thanks to the author. We'll be starting in a couple of seconds. Let me quickly show you how it works in action. Here is my AC timer. It's set to 10 minutes and when I start it, it will count down to the time that was set previously. It is using at the daily usage of this switch or timer, so it knows how long the switch was in the on state and once again it will turn it off after 10 minutes. There is also neat functionality where it can send you notification each time it starts the timer and also at the time when it stops the timer. And for another example, here is my Elgato left light currently shining brightly at me, same thing, different device, same simple control. In just few clicks I can turn it off, reset it to count down for 15 minutes, stop it, change it to 90 minutes or drag to whatever minutes I want to start it and have it running, for example 140 minutes. Once the timer finishes it will automatically turn off the device, switch, light or in this case fans. And best of all, Everything is done through the UI. No YAML code if you of course do not want to use it. It's pretty neat, right? Now let's see how to install it and set it up for yourself. Just like HA Simple Timer keeps your lights and devices running on time, Surfshark VPN keeps your online activity on track and protected. Every time you go online, whether checking your Home Assistant dashboard or browsing the web, Surfshark encrypts your connection. This means your ISPs, advertisers and even sneaky hackers can't peek at what you're doing. And if you're like me, testing your timers while out and about, public Wi-Fi can be risky. Surfshark keeps you safe wherever you are. Plus, one Surfshark account protects unlimited devices, so all your home assistant devices and dashboards are covered, or vice versa. And with their no-logs policy, your activity stays private, unlike your smart speaker, which might remember every time you reset the timer. Bonus, Surfshark Alternate ID lets you create masked emails and identities for new integrations, avoiding spam or leaks. Basically, it's like a secret timer for your personal information. So while Simple Timer keeps your devices on schedule, Surfshark keeps your digital life secure. Go to surfshark.com slash beardytinker or use my coupon BeardyTinker on the surfshark.com. It costs you nothing extra, but you do get an exclusive deal. Four extra months free, plus a 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect your online activity as easily as you can automate your lights. Get Surfshark VPN today. First, make sure that you have Hacks installed. If you have installed it, click on the Hacks and in the search field, type in Simple Timer for HA Simple Timer. Click on it, click Install or Download. Download, the latest version is version 1.3.0 at the time of the recording. But since this is an integration, we will need to restart our Home Assistant. But also, this integration packs the card, so we will not be needing to install the separate card because this is a combo. Integration plus the companion card. Developer Tools, Restart, 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 and that's it. Honestly, installing this is easier than making a cup of coffee. After the restart, it's time to go to Settings, Integrations, click on Add Integration, search for Simple Timer, click on it, and we can now start configuration. Everything is configured through the UI. Select an entity that you want to control with the timer, for example Elgato Air left, that's this one, click on next, select notification options, for example 
mobile phone. You can add multiple notification platforms, for example, iPhone. Then we have to specify the reset time. I will leave this at midnight and click on submit. We now have created the new entity for the light. This one here, left running time. What this entity does, it tracks how long the entity was in the on state. For example, this light is now turned on and the device or the entity is counting the seconds how long the device has been in the on state. You can do that for a lot of devices, but not all devices. I know that there is a request and some work has been done to implement this on other entities. For example, climate entities. Let's go back and let's add additional entity. For example, living room fan, pixel. For this one, I don't need seconds. Click on submit. I'll add AC. This one is configured as a switch. Once again, I'll push notification to my pixel phone. And let's say that I need to show seconds for this one. And we now have three entities defined. This one is the AC, this is a switch, this one is light and this one is fan. But having them here as entities only allows us to track how long the device was in the on state. For example, this one is 122 seconds. The good thing about this is that, as I said, this card also includes the UI. Our testing tab is hex. Click on pen sign and let's add some UI entities plus simple for the simple timer card. Click on it, select Elgato Keylight Air or any entity that you've created. You can give it a name, Elgato Left Light. You can play with the icon and you can also set the maximum time in the slider. Let's leave it for now at 120. We can play with this reverse state. It means that it will delay start with the timer. We can show or hide daily usage, but we can also select all the predefined timers that we want to have in the UI. For example, let's add one minute, let's remove a couple of those to have everything fixed here, and let's click on save. Let's close this one for now. And since the entity is currently in the on state, I cannot do anything here, but as I said, the best way to see how this works is to turn it off for now. Also one big note, as you can see, we are tracking daily usage and this daily usage is reset every day at midnight. You can change the time when you want to reset it, but you can see that this device has been on for 4 minutes and 57 seconds. If I would to turn it on for 1 minute, it would do nothing because the timer has already surpassed this 1 minute. <laughs> so the next best thing I can do is set it to off set to 15 minutes and I see that daily usage is currently at 5 minutes and we have 11 minutes for this device to be turned on. You can do the same thing with the slider. Just move it to whatever time you want, turn it on and it will count down the timer up until this daily usage. Let's for example add one more entity. Timer card, select let's say this fan we are not interested in daily usage. Let's now play with the delayed start. Click on it and click on save. We now have fan and let's for example set it to one minute and after one minute this device will start and as you can see the timer has turned this device on after one minute has expired. That's one way of using it. I've added the third entity, in this case this is a switch, AC switch, and let's set it to one minute, and the device has been automatically turned on, and it will be working for one minute. The button is now lit, and that means that the device is in the on state, and it's been in the on state for the 26, 7, 8, 9, 30 seconds. And that's it, the timer has reached one minute, and automatically it turned the device off. Very neat and very easy to use. But that's not all. Since all of these are entities, for example, let's look at this one here. If we click on it, we can see the state. And the state also has other attributes that you can use in your own scripts or automations. So based on the state that you create inside UI, you could potentially create an automation. 
that would be looking at the duration, time remaining, which is in the seconds, entity that it is controlling, for example, this one here. We can also see the next reset date, which is the midnight tomorrow, and also a reset time. How the timer was started, in this case it was a slider. Is it a reverse mode? Is it a countdown until something starts? Or is it a countdown from when this device started? And all of those can be used inside your automations. What are some of the examples? You can use it, for example, inside your kitchen. Out of, so you have no more forgotten lights. Laundry tracker, track your washer time or your dryer time. Notifications, get a reminder when time finishes. And everything that you can think of. It's like having a tiny butler inside Home Assistant, polite and always on time. One of the questions that you have is, will the timer survive the restart? Yes, the timer will survive the restart of Home Assistant and it will continue where it left off. So you can use it and be sure that it will be working even with the Home Assistant restarts. And that's it, thinkers. Home Assistant Simple Timer is simple, flexible and a huge time saver for Home Assistant. If you like what you've seen, make sure to check out the GitHub repository, link is down in the video description, and give it a start to support developer Arik. It really helps him keep this project going. And while you're at it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and drop a comment with how you would use this timer inside your smart home. I love reading your ideas and who knows, your setup may end up in the future video. And before I end up this video, I must say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and grab something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. Thanks for watching Tinkers and see you in the next one. Bye bye and have fun.